This procedure will assist you with getting to know the ideal 61-757 clamp meter. Review the safety information before beginning. Warning, shock hazard. Remove the test leads from the circuit prior to removing the battery cover. Failure to comply can result in serious injury or death. Inspect the battery compartment monthly for any signs of degradation. Low battery voltages will cause inaccuracies in readings. Remove the batteries for storage or if the meter will not be used for longer than one month. Battery leakage will compromise the safety of the meter and cause irreparable damage to internal components. To replace the batteries, remove the battery cover by loosening the battery cover screw. Insert 3 AAA batteries. Attach the battery cover with the battery cover screw. Test leads can be attached to the back of the meter to allow for two-hand testing by inserting them into the slot on the back of the meter. To measure AC voltage, insert the test leads into the meter, the neutral, black, lead into the common terminal and the test, red, lead into the voltage terminal. Turn the function dial to the ACV function. It is normal for some value of millivolts to be displayed due to radiated electrical noise. Simply short the leads together to defeat this. This does not affect the accuracy of a typical voltage reading. When measuring AC voltage, ghost or stray voltages, caused by induced voltages coupling from one parallel conductor to the next as found when measuring one conductor in multiple conductor circuits, may cause an incorrect value. Selecting the low impedance position, LOZ, on the function dial, while measuring voltage will defeat the influence of ghost or stray voltage. Note, for more accurate results the category cap may need to be removed from the test lead. Caution, use caution when using the LOZ function on equipment that may be damaged by being connected to a low impedance source. To measure DC voltage, insert the test leads into the meter, the neutral, black, lead into the common terminal and the test, red, lead into the DC voltage terminal. Turn the function dial to the DCV function. Then press the select button to change the setting to DC voltage. Note, it may take several seconds to acquire a stable and accurate value. By reversing the leads, the polarity sign will appear. To measure continuity, insert the test leads into the meter, the neutral, black, lead into the common terminal and the test, red, lead into the ohms terminal. Turn the function dial to the ohms function. Press the select button until the continuity symbol appears. To perform the test, short the metal tips together and listen for the tone. The meter will sense the level of resistance and beep if the resistance is less than 10 ohms, to confirm that continuity is present. Note, the meter defaults to continuity. To measure resistance, insert the test leads into the meter the neutral, black, lead into the common terminal and the test, red, lead into the ohms terminal. Turn the function dial to the ohms function. Then press the select button to change the setting to resistance mode. To perform a capacitor test, insert the test leads into the meter, the neutral, black, lead into the common terminal and the test, red, lead into the capacitor terminal. Then press the select button to change the setting to the capacitance function. To perform a diode test, insert the test leads into the meter, the neutral, black, lead into the common terminal and the test, red, lead into the diode terminal. Then press the select button to change the setting to the diode function. To measure frequency, insert the test leads into the meter, the neutral, black, lead into the common terminal and the test, red, lead into the hertz terminal. Turn the measuring functions dial to the hertz and duty cycle function. Then press the select button to change the setting to frequency mode. To measure the duty cycle, insert the test leads into the meter, the neutral, black, lead into the common terminal and the test, red, lead into the hertz terminal. Then press the select button to change the setting to the duty cycle. To measure the temperature, insert the K-type thermocouple into the meter, Ensure that the negative end is plugged into the common terminal and the positive end is into the temperature terminal. Turn the measuring function's dial to the temperature function. To measure Celsius, insert the K-type thermocouple into the meter. Ensure that the negative end is plugged into the common terminal and the positive end is into the temperature terminal. 
Then press the select button to change the setting from Fahrenheit to Celsius. Never measure current, amps, while the test leads are inserted into the input jacks. To measure AC current, amps, turn the function dial to the AC current function. Align the conductor with the dash marks on the meter jaws. To measure DC current, amps, turn the function dial to the DC current function. Point the arrow, located at the base of the meter jaws, towards the load. Then press the select button to change the setting to DC amperage. For non-contact voltage testing, set the function dial to the NCV function. Place the jaw tip marked with NCV close to an AC outlet, or any AC conductor such as light switches or power cords, and scan back and forth across the outlet. The red indicator LED flashes at a frequency of 3 Hz, and the buzzer beeps at a frequency of 3 Hz simultaneously if active voltage greater than 40 volts AC, 50 to 60 Hz, is detected. To differentiate between hot and neutral in an outlet, place the NCV tab directly next to each slot in the outlet. The tone, buzzer, will sound over the slot that is energized and not on the neutral slot. Either test lead can also be used to differentiate between the hot and neutral. Plug the red or black test lead into the volts input jack on the meter. With the function dial in the NCV position, insert the probe end of just one probe into the slots on the outlet. The meter will beep and the red LED will flash when a hot conductor is contacted. Note, for more accurate results the category cap may need to be removed from the test lead. While the NCV is a helpful function, it is always recommended that the operator verify that any electrical conductor is completely de-energized and that no voltage is present. This is done by measuring for voltage and confirming that no voltage is present and that all applicable PP and lockout tagout procedures are followed before attempting any work on any electrical distribution system. For a high voltage warning, high V, the meter LED remains red and the beep lasts for one second and then goes silent when voltages in excess of 30 volts are measured or when the meter's voltage range is exceeded. Note, this feature does not work in the ohm, capacitor, continuity, or amperage modes. A short press of the relative function button will activate or deactivate the relative function. The relative symbol is displayed, and the value on the display is stored as a reference value. In the relative mode, the value shown on the display is always the difference between the stored reference value and the present reading. The zero button is used to zero at the display before measuring DC current. Press the zero button to subtract out the non-zero number. Then, measure the DC amps. Pressing the zero button again causes the zero to flash and the original offset number to be displayed. Press the zero button to exit this mode. The meter is auto-ranging. However, the user may select a specific range by pressing the range button repeatedly. Pressing the range button exits the auto-range mode. The max min button records the maximum and minimum measured value. Press the max min button to activate this feature and to toggle between max and minimum readings. The unit will continually capture max and min values over time. Depressing the max min button for under 2 seconds exits the max min mode. If the meter is turned off, all max min data will be lost. Note, when the max min function is activated, the auto power off, APO feature will be disabled. When you exit the max min function, auto power off feature is enabled. Press the hold button on the side of the meter to toggle in and out of the data hold mode. H appears in the bottom left of the meter display when data hold is active. Use the data hold feature to lock a measurement reading on the display. Press the hold button again to unlock the display and obtain a real-time reading. The meter automatically powers itself down after about 30 minutes of no use. Press any button and the meter will wake up and display the last reading taken before power down. To disable auto power off, ensure that the meter is turned off, then press and hold the select button while turning the dial to any desired function. When auto power off is disabled, the APO will be removed from the display. Turning the meter off and back on will restore the auto power off default. 
Press and hold the select button for 2 seconds on the meter to turn the backlight and flashlight on and off. The backlight and flashlight will remain lit for about 5 minutes before they automatically turn off to conserve battery power. To turn the lights off press the select button for more than 2 seconds. When the battery voltage is less than 3.6 volts plus or minus 0.2 volts, the low battery indication is displayed on the screen. The meter will still work normally. When the battery voltage drops to less than 3.1 volts plus or minus 0.2 volts, BATT is displayed for 5 seconds then shuts off. When the battery voltage is less than 2.3 volts, accuracy is no longer assured. Select the option above to learn about the different testing methods for the ideal 61-757 clamp meter. Congratulations, this completes the procedure on getting to know the ideal 61-757 clamp meter.